Okay guys, it's Flex for Energizer again and in my previous video I promised to come back with a Jewelteeth project with a feedback to source, so here it is. Uh, a little preview of the program I made for it, it's very tiny, very very tiny, could be, I will adjust it so it's even more, uh, even smaller, sorry for my bad English, I'm I'm Dutch so forgive my mistakes uh, now and then. Uh, well, I programmed a chip already so no need to look at that again. Uh, one thing I I do find a little bit of disappointing about the circuit of the pick programmer, uh, I mean, is I will have to put the pick uh, or the microprocessor in and then we'll have to take it out and put it in a breadboard. So uh, I think I will change the programmer or build a new one. Uh, they're very cheap to build, so I think I will build a new one uh, which will be uh, in circuit programmer. Well, that will be another video for now. I will take you to the breadboard for the dual teeth to see it in action. Okay. Uh, so see you, uh, see you in a sec. Okay, and we're back again. I stuck the microprocessor into a breadboard, same setup as uh, a while ago. Uh, on the left side still the driving battery pack, run two LEDs. The only difference is, I will take you uh, around uh, the circuit, the only difference is I added a uh, dual teeth uh, circuit to the microprocessor. Here's the tiny coil, it's a trifiler coil. Uh, it's the same as a normal dual teeth, only with the exception of it has a secondary output. Uh, here you see two LEDs. Uh, that's or those LEDs are on the secondary, and you will see it when it's firing. So I will show it uh, to you in a minute. Uh, now this is the the driving uh, transistor. It's a two N thirty five five. As you can see. It's all with crocodile clips, so it's one hell of a mess, but nevertheless, it's just to show you that it works. This is a 40 volt 2200 microfarad capacitor, which captures the excess energy coming off, to, off the secondary, uh, which is in between of the, those two LEDs. Behind the LED you see a NPN transistor, which regulates the feedback to the source. And my driving battery, here it is, a triple A with a, the, a resistor on it. It's, I believe, a 330 ohm resistor, which is for the feedback. So, okay, I will show you my one and only DMM. Uh, it's on the 2000 milli volt settings and the circuit is not running now and the battery contains 1.444 volts or 1444 millivolts as you wish so now uh, I run the dual teeth before and it draws uh, on a duty cycle of 100% approx 8 milliamps it's a bit less but let's say 8 milliamps well Let's run the dual teeth. That's okay. As you can see, it's running on 100% duty cycle, and the battery power goes down. Of course, it's now 1435 millivolts, 34, and so on. Well, now let's activate the feedback to source. So let's tap it. It's like a switch tap, and here it goes. Okay. Now you see it blinking. This means, and this is the output blinking. Okay, when you see the red lights firing up, that means uh, the dual teeth is activated and the excess energy will be transferred to uh, the capacitor here. <coughs> now, when the 
red lights are off, the green lights on. And if you see close, pay attention, you see the red lights are on, but the green light is on twice as long. Okay. Uh, like I said before, when the red LEDs are on, the dual tooth is active, and when the green LED is on, the feedback to source is active, controlled by this little transistor. And if you see now, feedback to source is on, and you see the battery voltage goes up. It's now 1400, let's say 47 at the max. 46, 47, okay. So that looks very promising. I think it will continue to run for a very long time. Uh, but we'll have to see. It's just a, a quick, quick uh, video to show you where I'm at with my dual teeth. Uh, please don't comment on the mess uh, of the wiring. Uh, I will tidy it up. I will do a new video. But for now I will keep the dual teeth running. And I will come back to you with some new uh, uh, an update on this dual tooth on where the voltage is at and how long it's running so I hope you enjoyed the video for now and well this was the video about my microprocessor controlled dual tooth uh, more to come looks promising so bye for now